Hello everyone. So for today, we I want to work on this pocket. I did try making a video yesterday and that was the off day for me where I just, nothing was going right. So now I have one that's already made and one that I use as a template. Let's me know how to do this. I personally, that's what I do with my envelope tutorials. Normally I have my little template that's ready to go. And then I use my template to tell me how I do this. So first you're going to need, this is going to make two pockets, just, or yeah, three envelopes here. And you're going to cut the envelope in half. Have one envelope cut in half and one not. Now, when you go to determine this, you want to remember it's going to go in like this to your envelope. You're going to want to turn it over on which side you want to use or that it hooks into. And then you're going to want to cut it down two sides. That's how I determine the size. Then I determine the height based off of that. And voila, we got our envelope going here. Very easy. <laughs> Just again, make sure you're matching this tall side up against it so it's correct. That's the biggest thing I think that I yesterday for some reason I mixed them up so this is again just a quick little tidbit make sure that it's on the right way and then fold over and press it down now if you're using an envelope with your address and all that and you don't want anybody knowing about that particular part white out perfect way if you're doing this for like a tutorial like I am or something else later on and it ends up having your address on it or something that's my suggestion white out so I'm going to keep my template and put it in my little idea container which is just a dollar store little container that these are ideas that I've completed and I've kept a piece of in order to remake later on. Sometimes I forget to leave myself a template but in this case I am not. Alright so this first one I made a boo-boo again yesterday and got them all mixed up and all that jazz. So now I'm going to do this one that I planned on doing yesterday and ended up not doing. Because, yeah. <clears throat> now the first thing I do is I glue this part on. You don't have to, but I recommend it. Now I'm going to glue this section right here. And I find it easier to take it and put it on the piece and do it that way. And then cut it out. Not everybody agrees with doing it this way, but I find it's the easiest. Now, I could easily just use this section right here. So that's probably what I'm going to do next.
I love the different things we can do with envelopes, honestly. Just love it. Because you can make tons of different types of pockets. And envelopes are easy to get a hold of. It ain't that expensive. I live on a budget, so I know it isn't that expensive. But there we go. Okay. Now, while I have this piece separated out from our main piece, I'm going to quickly distress it around. Um, again, it's just a matter of speaking. This makes my life easier. Um, also, doing your hole punch right now would probably be a good idea too. I'll call my dad back when I'm done, just because we're in the middle of the tutorial here. Now, this part, it don't really matter much, so I might just take this small piece here and stick it in that section. Again, this is how I'm going to figure it out, where I want it stuck to. It just, again, gives it that added look. Now, for this part, it may look a little bit confusing. But, I find if you just glue that corner that you want decorated, like this, and you take your piece, like this, and just lay it on there. That's how I do it. Again, you don't have to do it the way I do, but I do suggest it's way easier. And also, I find it easier just to glue this little bit in there. So, we can do that. So I know it still looks a little off, but that's okay. It's coming together. So all I'm doing is gluing this tip here, laying it down where I want it laid down at. And then I'm going to cut it out. Yeah. Now, you could easily cut off this part. I like that thicker feeling with these. So, I'm probably not going to do that. Um, I know I didn't do that with this one. I allowed it to stay together and I just punched it out that way. So that's what I'm going to again do with this one. But I'm going to make sure it's lined up with this. So I'm just taking this piece, lining it up, lined up my punch, and voila. Now they're going to be lined up when they're this one's inside this one. It's going to be perfect in that kind of sense. All right. Now I'm going to finish distressing.
And honestly, this part don't really matter if you get distress ink there, so might as well use that to your advantage. Because again, it ain't going to matter. It's going to be hidden by this. All right. So now we're going to glue this piece right here just down this end the other end it really don't matter so we're going to glue that like that now this one it only matters if we glue it on the sides because the bottom is blocked well, actually, just do the bottom, to be honest. It does make life a little easier on that end. I didn't think about it when I, until after I said it. I love when I do that. Because you want this part glued down. So... There we go. We got that first part done. Then, to make this a pocket, we glue down the sides. Like that. And voila, we got our pocket. So, there we go. And I did pre-make some ephemera to go in to these from my last piece and see this is why kind of did it the way I did it was because I knew I could do that and it makes it kind of look cool or pretty so there we go I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and I have two more to do yet for different pieces but i also need to make that phone call to my dad that is important so enjoy the rest of your day or night bye